Sound change rules change the pronunciation of words. They look exactly like spelling rules, but they change the IPA before spelling rules are applied. Sound changes can be applied to all words in the language using the sound changes option, and they can be encoded into affix rules, both in grammar tables and derived words. A basic rule such as this changes all A's to O. You can also specify if the change should only happen in a particular environment. The forward slash means in the environment of, and the underscore signifies where the A is. This rule changes an A to O when it comes before a B, whereas this rule changes it after a B. This hash symbol represents a word boundary. This changes A to O at the beginning of a word. Curly brackets create a set. This means change A or E to O when they come after a B or D. Don't forget to separate the phonemes in the set with commas. Uppercase V and C represent any vowel and any consonant respectively. This rule changes any vowel to O after a consonant. Round brackets represent something optional. This rule changes the vowel at the beginning of the word, but it can optionally start with a single consonant. There are a few other helpful notation tricks that you can learn about on the sound change guide. If you can't figure out how to make a rule, don't be afraid to ask us. Many users use the sound change option to further tweak how their words come out. Be aware that this is sometimes not the right tool for the task. If you're making a sound change rule because you don't like the look of a certain combination of phonemes, you should really just add an illegal combination. Additionally, all your word patterns could be fully controlled in the advanced word structure, although this feature can sometimes be difficult to wrangle. One minor issue with sound changes is that it's possible to change a word to the same pronunciation as another word. At the initial word generation phase, all words in the dictionary are made to be uniquely pronounced, but sound changes are applied after the deduplication stage. Homophones are quite a normal phenomenon in natural languages, so it's not something you necessarily have to stress over. Checking apply as permanent changes applies the changes to the hard-coded input in add and remove words. The rules then disappear as they are no longer needed. This process can be used to evolve the pronunciation of the language over multiple generations. As mentioned, sound changes can also be encoded into affix rules. As the name suggests, affix rules are primarily for making affixes. For example, English past tense is usually an ed suffix which would be written in an affix table like this, but English also has some irregular past tense verbs that change the vowel in the word. For example, sing and ring become sang and rang in the past tense. When encoding sound changes into affix rules, you may only want to change the first or last match in the word, not every match. Use double arrows for the last match and double forward arrows for the first match. Stay tuned for more tips.